Good afternoon, professor. In today's video, I'll explain a little more about my report that I did on Naturalist app. So in here, you can see that I got uh, a classification, a chart that I did. And the left side, I put the observation, the center, the identification, and the right hand, I put about that, a uh, little more briefly um, definition about what that appeared in the, in the app. So um, the first one was like a plan that I took in my front yard. And this is like a flower, a red flower. I don't know what is that really, but I wanted to know what was the name of this plant. So I took the picture of that, and that was like a genius Ixora. So yeah, I've heard that name, but I didn't remember. So I wanted to know about this. So uh, and about is like an Ixora. It's like an, a flowering plant. So it's interesting, and it's found like in. And many, they are, they have many species, and it's found in, like in Central America and other parts of the world. And well, that was easy to find. Um, the second one is like a a a, a, a yellow flower. Uh, I was wondering too, what was the name of this flower in the application? Um, the application just uh, uh, show me this uh, it was like a golden trumpet and it's like an alamanda cathartica uh, interesting too uh, i found this flower also in my back in my front yard those are plants that we have there um, well this is native from brazil and interesting but we got here um yeah there was also easy to find too um another plant it was like uh, this plant um i wanted to find i wanted to know about this plant what was the name and yeah it was the heart of jesus so it was like for the application for easy to to recognize this because these are very famous and yeah it's the heart of jesus and well, it's found in Latin America. Uh, it's a, like a lance shaped leaves with striking green, white, pink, and red blotching. Uh, yeah, and the first animal that I got here is like an insect. I don't know what is that. It's like something like an insect. I don't know. But it looks like a worm, something like that. And yeah, I've seen this before. Um, in my in my yard in backyard in many places but i didn't know what was it and what was the name of this and it was like a yellow and black flat millipede uh what was was the what the application and uh, i not showed um and what well, it does easy to recognize because it's like a gr yeah, uh, green with black uh, and little tiny um, paws, like, uh, yeah. And uh, I know, but this is an insect that is like not, not so uh, dangerous, uh, but it secretes something that is like toxic if you approach to it. Um, well, and I found it like uh, really near my house. Uh, there's like a cow field where there are plants and where I could have the opportunity to, to see one on the ground, uh, on the ground, yes. But well, there, are, there were many, like many animals out here. So I was just looking for them. There was like quite difficult to find an insect, really, really hard. And another animal I found was like a butterfly. And it was like quite interesting to see the, the colors of the brown and green one. And uh, yeah, and I could like barely like to, to, to be able to take the picture of this because it was like moving quite really hard and it was also I found it on a, on a cow field 
And he, 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 he told me there was like a genus Cipruetza. It looks like the same. I think it's, it's quite similar. So, yeah, it's, it must be this. Um, and what is found in Central America, and the Caribbean, and South America? Uh, well, this one is another plant. And this is like a fruit. And it was easy for the application also to recognize it. It's like the a calabash tree is like uh how does it uh it's like a calabaza yeah um well um i I just knew what was this, so it was easy to uh, for the application to recognize it um well I went to also to the weeds. Um, the cow field, uh, I found this uh, plant. It was like Ortiga, that I know like that name, but well, this like scientific name is a genius Snidosculus. So, uh, yeah, I think it's, it's the plant that is showed here. They are like there are similarities between them. Um, yeah. What we got here, and the final plan that I could have the the chance to take was like Merella de Gallo. Uh, yeah, it was like, uh, yeah, I got here like it grew up in the in the backyard, my backyard. So I took the picture, but I want to know the the scientific name. Uh, so it was easy also to recognize for the application. It's a genius celosia. And yeah, quite interesting uh, to, to see all these plants and animals. But I wanted to, to take pictures of the animals and, well, more. But I couldn't find any, any of them here near my, my community. I, I just looked for them and I could um, take all those, only those two. So I got only the chance to take more plants than animals. But yeah, it was really interesting to, to use the application to know about this, uh, to know about the different species and the, the names, the scientific names on naturalist. So it's a good application. I always wanted to look for an application that use this type of uh, uh, technological intelligence to recognize plants and animals. So yeah, that was all that I could, I could did, I could do, and well, I hope you uh, could uh, see all what I did. So thank you very much. Uh, that was all.